Today, we will talk about this picture. According to this formation, the carrier battle group has a total of 10 surface ships. And it is leading by INS Vikrant in the middle, followed by two Kolkata-class destroyers, on either side of Vikrant, then slightly diagonally two Shivalik-class frigates, two Brahmaputra-class frigates, two Talwar-class frigates, and one Deepak-class fleet support ships, right behind the group. Do not forget nuclear power attack submarines also move with carrier battle groups. If you talk about firepower, in total, the carrier battle group can carry 96 anti-ship land attack cruise missiles, including 48 BrahMos and 16 Club anti-ship missile, and 32 KH-35 surface attack missile. For air defense it will have a range of 304 surface-to-air missiles, including 96 Barak-8 for long-range interception, 96 Till-1 for medium-range interception, and 112 Barak-1 for short-range interception. Within a couple of years, Barak-1 will be replaced by VLSR SAM. To hunt down enemy submarines, different ships have a total of 36 torpedoes, including 24 533mm heavyweight torpedoes, and 12 321mm lightweight torpedoes. This is the firepower without including aircraft carried by ships and their weapons. For a moment, just think about the firepower this carrier battle group will carry. If you think this is not worth it, then I don't know what is worth it. If you still think the enemy can detect, track, and destroy a carrier battle group very easily, then don't you also think, they can destroy anything, literally anything, frigates, destroyers, military bases, nuclear power plant, the country's capital, major city, and other critical infrastructure. Well, it's obvious, if they can destroy a target that is moving at a speed of 30 knot with this firepower, and can also perform aggressive maneuvers like this, then it's very easy to destroy critical static targets. As of 2022, the Indian Navy operates two aircraft carriers, INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant, and the Navy is seeking a third aircraft carrier. From here Indian Navy has few options. Before discussing these options let's look at the TEDBF development phase. It will conduct its first flight in 2026 and will enter service in 2032, and will start replacing MiG-29K from 2035 onwards. Timeline of TEDBF matters, because without air wings, an aircraft carrier is nothing but a billion-dollar floating ship. The Navy can go with second INS Virat, or a larger carrier, maybe a 55 to 65,000 ton ship with Stobar configuration, like UK's Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier. If the order is placed in 2023, the carrier will be ready within 5 to 7 years and by 2030, Indian Navy will have three aircraft carriers. Well, that's great. But, the Navy doesn't have sufficient air wings for two aircraft carriers, and how do they will form air wing for third carrier? To operate all these three carriers at full potential, Indian Navy has to wait for two to three years. Then why don't use this time to develop a better carrier? Third option, the Navy can go with a 65,000-ton Katabar aircraft carrier, like the Chinese Type 003. If the Indian government and Navy want to fight a naval war with China in the Indian Ocean and the government of India doesn't have any plans to put pressure or they don't want to deploy a carrier battle group in the South China Sea, even if China deployed a carrier battle group in the Indian Ocean, then a conventional powered 65,000 ton Katabar aircraft carrier option will be great. If work starts today the aircraft will be ready within 9 to 10 years. This will increase India's regional power, not global power. Fourth option, the Indian Navy can go with what they always seeking, a nuclear-powered 65,000-ton aircraft carrier. It's fine if the requirement is reduced to 50 to 60,000 ton. A 190-megawatt reactor is already being developed for S5-class SSBNs and 6 SSNs, the same reactor can be used in the third carrier as well. Two of these will be sufficient to power a 55,000-ton class aircraft carrier. Looking at future warfare, directed energy weapons, powerful radar to track future threats, unmanned aerial vehicle, and electromagnetic catapult systems to launch heavy aircraft and UAVs, a bigger and more powerful aircraft carrier is indeed. The comments section is always open for you to share your view.
That's it for today. See you in the next video.